welcome to the Great Big Card Swap Showcase. This is part two for July 2022. If you're brand new to the Great Big Card Swap, it is so much fun and you really need to join us. This is how it works. You send in a card. I show them all. That's what we're doing tonight. And then I send them all back. It's really that simple. Send a card, see them all, get one back. If you haven't participated before, I would love for you to join in. Our August theme is Anything Goes. So you can literally send any handmade card for the August swap. Any theme, any stamp set, any colors, any company. You don't even have to use Stampin' Up. Most of the cards I'm going to show you tonight are Stampin' Up, but I have no restrictions. You can use Retired. You can use Not Stampin' Up. It doesn't matter. I do swap out like cards for like cards. So if you use Non Stampin' Up, you'll get Non Stampin' Up cards back. If you swap in or send in a retired card, you'll get a re retired card back. Tonight's theme is birthday because July is my birthday month. And so I always love doing the birthday theme in July because I kind of feel like I'm getting a bunch of birthday cards. It's so much fun. I love receiving your cards and seeing them, but it makes me so happy that I get to send them back out. I know so many of you don't get happy mail very often, even though you probably send dozens and dozens, hundreds even, cards yourself, and you probably don't get very many handmade cards back in the mail. So the Great Big Card Swap is a perfect opportunity to send some happy mail and to get some happy mail. So every one of these cards, minus the last little bit in the back, I'll be sending out for the great big card swap. If you sent in a card, you're getting one back. Whether your birthday's in July or any time of year, I hope that you'll enjoy your birthday card. Now, just a little note, our birthday cards or our card swaps rather are always blank inside, meaning we don't write anything so that the card that you get, you can send on and bless somebody else. I love that full circle of happy mail. Well, I'm gonna move this out of the way, but I have over 50 birthday cards to share with you and they are all so amazing oh my goodness we just have some fun folds and some oh, just all kinds of beautiful things you guys are gonna love them I'm gonna show you cards one by one I do have a few personal birthday cards that I'm gonna share at the very end um and so yeah let's just jump in and get started I'll share the details of this again it's already in the video description so if you want to send in cards for August you can send them to Julie Davison P.O. Box 6164 Champaign Illinois 61826 don't forget to send in a postage stamp with your card so that I can send your return card to you. But no worries about envelopes because I've got plenty um, to go around. A lot easier for me to use the same envelope for everybody. Oh my gosh, I think I just saw Lori. You're celebrating a birthday in July. Happy birthday! And is, oh, a big one too. Oh my goodness, that is so exciting. My sister-in-law's got a big birthday coming up as well next, this coming Sunday. How oh, is it the end of July? Oh my goodness. July is a big birthday month <laughs> in our house. I guess June and July. June's a little bigger than July. Summer birthdays. Got to love them. We also have a lot of birthdays in September. Do you guys have a lot of clumps of birthdays in your family? All right, let's jump in and start sharing these cards. This first one is from Roz Monsi, and she sent in two cards so that I could keep one. Thank you so much, Roz. I am digging the colors on this card tonight. We've got a little, uh, like a smoky slate back there, a little gray granite with some dark, it looks like not quite navy. Do you remember that old color? That's an oldie bit of good me. Maybe it's just night of navy and my lighting's off. La, um, love this bright yellow and the white. I just think this is such a beautiful combination with the gray and the navy and the white. So beautiful. Little tea boutique designer paper in the background there and all those die cuts are from that cup of tea bundle. Such a great card, Roz. And thank you for sending an extra for me. You guys are so amazing. I love, love, love when you do that. It just makes me feel so blessed to get that happy. Well, here's another one I get a double up. Janice McCollum sent this one in. So beautiful. I was just playing with this stamp set today. This is the Hello Harvest stamp set that's in the July through um, December mini catalog and this gorgeous shimmer and metallic designer paper. I am just starting to play with it and I am really loving it. It just adds so much texture and fun. There are three different colors. There's an orange, a green with gold, and then a black and silver that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love everything about this card, Janice. You knocked it out of the park, even stamping on the inside. So beautiful. 
Oh, here's one from uh, Lana Alesna. Oh, I love this little turtle. He just retired in the spring. Um, turtle friends and turtle and friends, something like that. Happy belated birthday. Sorry, I was slow. Oh my gosh. This one is perfect for me. And I loved the turtle, especially for this sentiment because... Uh, I'm guilty. I <laughs> I am always sending belated birthday cards. I'm always missing birthdays and trying to catch up. So I love this card because I would need like 20 of them. <laughs> I think no matter when you send a card, whether it's late or on time, it's so, so appreciated. All right, moving right along, we've got one from Michelle Bunt using the, um, I think Sending Flowers is the name of the bundle. I love this technique. We've got the Painted Texture Designer, or not designer painted texture embossing folder with some sponge or um yeah some sponge color on top to really highlight all of those um texture details so beautiful i love the colors here our new um starry sky i always get starry sky and orchid opulence mixed up i think this one yeah, see they're so close this is orchid opulence this is starry sky so michelle's card is the starry star sky um and a little i would say like balmy blue probably in there and then the um, sweet sorbet and parakeet party mm, 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 so beautiful look at the colors in this one this is from barb apke using the new rings of love designer paper you can get this 12 by 12 designer paper for free during celebration with a qualifying order so if you want to get some celebration freebies you can shop in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop barb i love this this parakeet party for the card base and a little um, die cut butterfly from the um, brilliant butterfly paper Butterf oh no it's butterfly bijou right <laughs> that was a fun one a retired designer paper that had that um, butterfly that you can die cut and then I just love the uh, the double oval punch I think there's so many different ways to use that oh look at this fun one this is from Leslie Kanaisel I hope I said that right Leslie I've been practicing <laughs> look at this fun fold card oh my goodness I have seen several different versions of this sort of like um I don't know how to like, I don't know what to call it. You guys probably know. What is this card called? I kind of want to ca call it like a collapsing accordion. I just love all the different layers. I've seen both vertical and... Um, uh, vertical and landscape cards. Uh, the Great Cascading Fun Fold, Tony says. It is definitely, that's the word I was looking for, cascading. Um, that is a perfect word to describe this. This is the Hippest Hippo Dies with a little bit of designer paper from last year's annual catalog. But I love these hippos. Are you just the cutest? They are so adorable. Do you love them too? These are also a celebration gift that you can choose with a qualifying order during celebration. There's a stamp set and a coordinating set of die so you can get one or both during celebration. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Janice, yeah, you are definitely not the only one. <laughs> oh, I feel like I, I, I hate to even confess this, but my nephew who turned 18 in March is still waiting for a birthday card from me. Ah! It has been April, May, June, and now almost the end of July, four months. I had good intentions, and then it just, I don't know. I don't know. I think I need to tuck a little extra money in there because it's going to be so late. Um, next up is a card from Carrie Zacharias. We got a little book binding card. I love this Bloom Where Your Planet designer paper. A little Just Jade in there. That was such a great in color that retired. This ribbon is so pretty, and it coordinates so well with the designer paper. There's some something fabulous about your birthday. It must be you. What a great sentiment, too. Oh, here's one from Jane Platt using a little um, misty moonlight speaking of retired in colors the happy birthday to a classic is from the um he's the man bundle from the new annual catalog a little scallop circle i remember that one that was one of my favorites back in the day and some stickers to really celebrate love the the foil on those great card jane thank you it's such a perfect card for a masculine for, for a man. Maybe I can send that to my nephew. <laughs> um, I always have a hard time with masculine cards. We did that as a theme for a great big card swap. Um, I guess it was back in April, maybe. Um, that was a good one. You guys really came up with some really awesome cards. Mm, look at this one. I love the bright colors on Carol Alanis's card. This is, oh, she, maybe she says on here. 
Um, mixing old with new. Oh, she doesn't say the name of the stamp set. Um, but gosh, I just loved this one. It was only in a catalog. It was in a mini catalog for only one cycle. And it was such a shame because it was such a gorgeous stamp set with the bright, big, bold um, flowers. We've got some Melon Mambo or Magenta Madness, some Bermuda Bay, a little bit of gorgeous gray, granny apple green, and some Mango Melody. Such a happy card. I would love to get that one for my birthday. <gasps> Look at these cuties. Oh my goodness, the party puffins. Are, it's just such a fun stamp. So a little tea boutique designer paper here. These are both from Debbie Bustle. And I think she said this one was inspired by a card that she saw on Pinterest. And she sent two and told me I get to pick one. How lucky am I? Oh my goodness. But it's so hard to decide because I think they're both just so cute. Okay, so this or that. If you were me, which of these two cards would you keep? Um, I can't keep them both. <laughs> I have to send one on. So uh, it's going to be such a hard decision. Leave a comment. Let me know this or that. Which one of these um, do you love the most? They're both just so adorable. So I really don't know how I'm going to pick. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie, for that extra card. So, so cute. Oh, look at these. Here's a pair of cards from Chris O'Malley, a first-time swapper. She says um, she used a combination of stamps from um, Lawn Fawn and Stampin' Up, if I remember correctly. Oh, this one is Tailored Expressions. This one's Lawn Fun. So we got a little mix going on here. And um, Chris sent in two cards. Uh, we do limit now for the Great Big Cards, what we do limit to one card per month. Um, just because it was getting really crazy. And we had some people that were sending in like 10 or 12 or 15 cards. Um, and it was a little... It was a little much for me to handle. Um, so Chris, I'm going to swap them both out because they are gorgeous cards and someone's going to be so excited to get these. But next time, just one card. Oh, but seriously, I like these are just so adorable. And I have to say, Chris, your coloring job is phenomenal. I have such a hard time coloring. It's not something that I enjoy. I think I need to be a little bit more patient, but like the, the shading on here is just so beautiful. Oh, I just noticed there's candles on that watermelon. How freaking adorable. I love the colors too down here on all the, the seaweed and the coral. Hope you have a fantastic birthday. Oh my gosh, great cards, Chris. Thank you so much for swapping with us. I know everyone's gonna be so excited to get those. Oh, look at this gorgeousness. Karen Key sent this one in. Sometimes when I'm going through the cards, I have a hard time distinguishing um, what's for me and what's for the swap. And so this is one I wasn't sure. I think it's for the swap. Um, but golly, I would love to keep it because it's so gorgeous. <laughs> um, so if you're if you're ever sending a card for me, some of you do this already, but if, if, it in, if it is intended for me and not for the swap, then please write for Julie on the envelope. And then there's no question. Most of you don't write much on the envelope at all. And so I just have to, um, have to guess if there's usually a personal note in there, or obviously if it's written in there as a note for me, then I know it's for me, but, um, this one is so gorgeous and someone is going to absolutely love getting this. I'm, I'm kind of obsessed, Karen. It really is gorgeous. We have the Orchid Oasis cardstock in the background and then Starry Sky, Bermuda Bay and Parakeet Party. How awesome is this? color combination. Some white embossing on the black. You are amazing. I think she said she uh, cased this one from Dina Recow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The amazing phrasing is the stamp set that she used for the words. And that is another celebration for me that you can get uh, with a $100 order during celebration. So we have just five weeks left of celebration. I feel like it's going so fast. So if this is a stamp set that you would like to add to your collection, make sure that you get it before August 31st. And you can do that and shop in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. Oh my gosh, make sure you pick up some watercolor paper while you're in there so you can do this amazing background. This color looks so amazing because of the paper that it's on. You cannot get the same look from using just like a basic white cardstock. Just gorgeous. I'm definitely going to have to use this color combination. <laughs> Thank you, Karen, for sharing that beautiful card with us. Here's one from Tahira Blonde, and she used um, the bloom where you're planted, um, Plentiful Plants. I always get them mixed up sometimes with the bundle name and the designer paper. This was so gorgeous. I love this bundle. You're totally awesome. 
so so fun and then no one deserves a happier birthday than you this card makes me happy <laughs> i may have a black thumb but i do love house plants um i don't know I, I, it's just greenery right i love green i love nature and so house plants just sort of bring that inside this is such a great card to hear thank you so much for sending it in Ooh, check out this one from valerie zimmerman she used the new sequin dies that have all kinds of different um sizes of sequins including a really big one she also used a retired scattered sequins embossing folder to pair that with i just love this we got a nice little sponging going on in the different colors here it looks like tangerine tango and coastal cabana maybe little brushing bride in the background and happy thoughts for the stamp set on the everyday label punch one of my favorite that is now retired oh my gosh so much fun valerie i love the little sparkles in there too this card makes me so happy Speaking of cards that make me so happy, I have a very colorful trio to share with you. My favorite part about these cards is that this trio gets together and stamps while on, a, I assume, like a Zoom call or something. So we've got Donna Johnson, Diane Gorski, and Becca Fisher. Let's see. So Becca says it's her, her mom is Diane and her aunt, Donna, and they get together and they stamp. Um, and they made all these cards together while um, while chatting long distance. And I that makes me so, so happy. Okay, so all of these cards use the same bonus stamp set from the Paper Pumpkin kit this stamp set was included oh gosh which stamp set or which um I think it was the Beyond the Horizons, wasn't it? That this one came in. And the Beyond the Horizons kit was in the Paper Pumpkin Past Kits and Refill section in the online store and included the bonus um, stamp set. Oh my gosh, I think, right? Let me see. I have, I have one of those Paper Pumpkin kits. And so I'm just going to double check that this is the right one. <laughs> um, do you guys subscribe to Paper Pumpkin? The kit for August is gorgeous. It is going to have sunflowers in it. And I think I read that it will include two Stampin' Spots. Okay, let's see if this is the right one that I'm thinking of. It is. Okay, so in this Paper Pumpkin which is March 2022, Beyond the Horizon, uh, Paper Pumpkin subscribers can get past kits in the online store. So you can get, I think this is still in there, but this is the stamp set um, that they used on the card. So this was a bonus stamp set, an extra gift that came in the Paper Pumpkin. And um, so this is the stamp set that they all used. And look how different their cards are. I just love, love, love these. You know, I still haven't inked up that stamp set, which is so sad, but I am totally inspired to do that now. We've got some beautiful colors with the Bermuda Bay, Orchid Opulence, Starry Sky, a little bit of Fresh Freesia, Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape. Okay, are you guys ready to see the inside of these cards though? Because the <laughs> hold on, look at this! They have a little explosion of designer paper! What? How fun is this? Now this one is Becca's and she included <laughs> some some fun confetti and I had to keep her little pocket in there this is the pocket that she had for her stamp but I had to keep the confetti in there so that it would stay put and would not be floating around in my box and get lost oh my gosh so fun all three of these cards have that what that fun pop-up inside now this little designer paper fold is really a lot easier than it looks okay so i'll include the link in the video description but i'm going to tell you because it's this easy it's a six by six piece of designer paper scored or folded in half each way and then scored on one diagonal and that's it then you just glue one end and one end and you have that really awesome designer paper explosion Oh my gosh, these cards are so amazing. Thank you to the three of you for sending them in and sharing with us. Just so much fun. And I get, I just love that you made them together. Here's another fun fold. Oh, and those cute turtles again. This is from Alita Williams, and she sent me another version of this card. We got some butterfly um, kisses, designer paper in the background, some oh so ombre from a celebration a couple times ago. And then I'm not sure about this one, but. 
It just goes so great with the other paper. I bet it's from the Butterfly Kisses. Oh, Turtle and Friends, it's time to celebrate. This is such a fun card. I think I might have to case this fun fold. Alita, thank you so much for sharing this one and sending this in. And thank you also for the bonus card. I really, really love it. I will share the other version of it in another video. I think on Thursday when I do Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. Here's another one with doubles, and these were so different, I had to share them both. Anna Rabadou sent in um, two different cards, and she told me I can pick one to keep for my birthday. So here's another this or that. Uh, this one has got the Design a Daydream paper, and this one we've got this gorgeous watercolor with the roses from Happiness Abounds and a beautiful rose embossing folder in the background. Oh my gosh, so beautiful, and they're so different. I don't know how I'm going to decide again. I just love them. Anna, thank you so much for thinking of me and for sending an extra card. You are just the sweetest, and these cards are also just the sweetest. I love them. <laughs> Tony says this on the left. Susie likes this one too. Oh my gosh, I know. It's so hard to decide. How can you possibly, right? Um, <laughs> I love that you guys are leaving comments. I'm trying to keep up with them, but please, if you see a card that you just love, please, please, please leave a comment and, and encourage the swappers who I know are watching and love to hear all of your positive comments and feedback. So please make sure to tell all of our swappers how amazing their cards are. Look at these cute little sweet songbirds. This one's from Georgine Ray Parsons. This is a new bundle from the annual catalog that has a coordinating punch. So stinking cute. A little birdie told me it's your special day. <laughs> oh my gosh, Georgine, I just love it. I, I use these songbirds a lot when they first came out and I need to get them back out again. We have a little robin who has nested in the back on top of one of the speakers that are on our back patio. I didn't realize there were babies in there until I was coming in with the dogs the other night and I heard them cheep, 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 cheep as mama was bringing them some food. Oh my gosh, so, so cute. Thank you, Georgine, for that awesome card. Oh, this is a fun fold. I love this. I'm trying to remember now what this is called. A twist fold card, maybe? I will put the link to the video description. Um, I will put the link to the video tutorial in this video description so you can check it out. I have a blog post that has a template and a video tutorial so you can learn how to make this card. This one is from Myrtle Thorne, and she has used some um, pencil, not pencils, it's the hand penned. Uh, I think it's just hand-penned designer paper with a cute little ladybug punch. Happy birthday. Oh my gosh, I love this. And Myrtle sent an extra for me. Thank you so much, Myrtle. I did notice that you sent in, I'm going to show you really quick. I noticed that you sent in an extra envelope, but this card actually is designed so that it fits in a regular envelope. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? I love it so much. Make sure you check out the link in the video description. I'll add it when we're all done so you can see for yourself and try this awesome fun fold card at home. Oh, next up is a card from Sherry Warner. Then she's a first time swapper, Sherry. Welcome to the great big card swap. I'm so excited that you were able to send in a card. This one is a blast from the past. Oh my gosh, I just love this designer paper. This is, gosh, from like 12 or 15 years ago. I remember using this paper and some of these awesome brads and the paper piercing was big back then. And this looks like a little retroform um, background with the different inking and the stamping. Oh my gosh, I love everything about this card. So detailed and so beautiful. Sherry, thank you so much. She said, Charming Crafts, she said, a friend in her a friend and her make cards and sell them at church. The proceeds go for clean water. I think that's so amazing. I love to hear stories about the amazing things that you guys are doing with your cards, sharing them with others. And this is just one example, Sherry. Thank you for sharing with us and thank you for sharing and helping your community. I just think that's so amazing. Oh, look at this cute little goat. This is from Sue Campbell and she sent in this birthday card. Happy birthday, you old goat. <laughs> He was just the cutest. I don't know what he's eaten, but it probably came from that clothesline. We had a stamp set uh, and stamping up, and it was there was a similar sentiment in there about happy birthday, you old goat. And I always felt like I wasn't sure who I could send that to. <laughs> 
Do you have a friend or a family member who you could call an old goat and get away with it? Oh my gosh, leave a comment and let me know who you would send this card to. Happy birthday, you old goat. I don't know, maybe I could send that to my dad. <laughs> oh, all right, next up is a card from Deb Rupp. Oh my gosh, look at this. We've got some Wisteria Wonder going on in the background. The detailed dies are part of the bundle there. And then this one is from another stamp set, Mythical something. Um, it had a dragon and the, um, what do you call the winged horse? Oh my gosh, I know my girls would be yelling at me right now. <laughs> oh, I just think this one is so fun. Deb, that's right. I'm sorry. I forgot if I said it already. Deb, what an awesome card. So beautiful with the combination of images. And look at this. The coloring on this die cut is so fun to have the different variation in the greens. Pegasus. Thank you, Janice. <laughs> oh, I was having a little brain moment. Pegasus. And then, well, there, there's not a horn on there, so it's not a unicorn. What's a unicorn with wings? Is that also a Pegasus? Um, okay, next up we have, uh oh, oh no, oh, there's two cards. I was like, I don't have a name. Uh, both of these cards are from Becky slash Nagel, and she said, I can choose one. So we have another this or that. This card I think would be so great for um, sending to a man. I love the trees and then. This is fun, the designer paper in the background. Great coloring here with like the chocolate chip and cherry cobbler, just so pretty. And not so pretty, so handsome, right? It is very a very like elegant and handsome card. And then we've got this one with the birdhouses. Oh my gosh, I love this. So cute, little stitched label there um, and colored in with some looks like colored pencils. I don't use my colored pencils enough. So this or that, tell me which of these you would keep. And Becky, thank you so, so much for sending an extra for me. That was so kind of you. And I'm just so touched. I love them. Thank you so much. Um, here's another one. Look at this fun fold. Joe Williams sent a bonus card for me. Joe, thank you. Thank you so much. This uses the new Rustic Harvest designer paper, and this is a stand-up tower card. I'll put the video uh, tutorial in the video description on this one as well. I'll put this, uh, I'll have a resources section in the video description where I'll have links to all these fun fold cards. So if you haven't tried them yet, you can give this one a try. This has kind of got a fun way to show off designer paper that coordinates and then there's a spot in the back where you can write a note and Joe's got a little note um, with her address in there so I always try to fold those up so if you see something folded up it's just for privacy purposes on the video but um, I try to leave them in there so the the notes that uh, you're writing to each other um, that are either loose or on post-it notes you're welcome to share your address um, and invite your swapping friend to um, to send cards or to correspond with you it's not guaranteed um, but if you want to share your address or your email address or reach out to each other, um, that's totally fine. The only thing I ask when you're sending in cards for the Great Big Card Swap is that you don't include a business card or other solicitation because um, that's not what we're all about. All right, moving right along, we've got a card from Melinda DeRuin. This is some gorgeous paper. What was it called? Paper hugs? Pa something paper... Mm, this was a designer paper that was available during celebration a couple times ago uh, with a great big wish for happiness. I love that. So pretty. I miss Rococo Rose. That's the pink that's in here. That was an ink color that's retired and it was really gorgeous along with Seaside Spray. Oh, I wish some of those ink colors would come back. Maybe they will someday. Well, Linda, thank you for that beautiful card and that reminder of those gorgeous colors. Here's another one using the Sending Smiles. This one's from Marilyn Edens. And I think Marilyn is a first time swapper. Thank you so much. We're so excited to have you join the Great Big Card Swap. We've got some detailed dies in the background there so you can see the cardstock underneath. I just love this die cut. Uh, it has a stamp or a die cut that coordinate so you can kind of use it in multiple ways um and then some stamping on the inside is so much fun Marilyn thank you so much for sending in this gorgeous swap I know someone is going to love receiving that oh ho, ho. look at this this is from Kathy King and I believe she said she was inspired by Amy Conders oh, did I saying that right I'm not saying that right 
I'm not going to try again because I'll mess it up. I just love Amy. She's the best. And these, uh, they're, this card is just so beautiful. And it's actually pretty simple. So the designer paper square is from Hues of Happiness. And then just some simple black die cuts really just pop against the color. So gorgeous. I think I missed a question, but I saw somebody answered. The theme for August is anything goes. So um, you can send in whatever you want, any theme, any color, any designer paper, any anything at all. Any handmade card that you make uh, will qualify for our August theme. And I don't know if I said it already, but the September theme will be autumn. I always love doing that theme because autumn is my very favorite season. So I figure September would be a good time to share autumn cards so that we can be sending them at the end of September and the beginning of October when we get them back. So those are the themes for um, August, anything goes, September, autumn, and you can send those cards in to Julie Davison, P.O. Box 6164. Champaign, Illinois, 61826. We still have some more cards. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> this was just a little commercial break. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, make sure if you're sending cards in for a later month, make sure you write the um, the month on the envelope. That's really helpful for me. Um, when I go to the PEO box and I'm sorting cards, it's really helpful if I just can put all the September ones in a separate pile and then I just wait to open them and I don't have to get things mixed up. Okay. We're doing birthday cards tonight, so let's get right back to it. This one's from Alberta Fetch, and I love this crumb cake, this sort of craft cardstock, uncraft cardstock, a very monochromatic card with some pop of color in the middle of those stitched flowers. Oh my gosh, just so gorgeous. A little wood grain embossing on the back. This is really kind of a stunning card. I really love that. And these brass butterflies, if you don't have them yet, they're like the perfect little embellishment. And I love that they're so flat and they don't like cause too many bumps on your card. Oh, so pretty. Next up is a card from Nancy Lestrange. Oh my gosh, look at this one. How fun is that little designer paper accordion? Now, if, if this is not Nancy's card, if I misattributed this, then please let me know. Um, I kind of got my envelopes mixed up, but I'm pretty sure this is Nancy. If it's not, and if it's your card and you're not Nancy, then please let me know. <laughs> Sometimes I make mistakes and I... Um, it's always unintentional, and I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure this is Nancy. So Nancy, awesome card. We've got the Hues of Happiness designer paper, little three by 12 inch scored at four and eight inches to create this little accordion. And then um, you can write your message on the inside. So gorgeous. This one is also die cut from the same Hues of Happiness designer paper. Oh, this is such a pretty card. Karen Fletcher sent this one and a double for me. Karen, thank you so much. This uses the Pansy Patch designer paper and check out this fun fold. We have a little arm that comes up, out, and then the big flap that comes up. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. I just love this card. It is so colorful with a fresh freesia and some evening evergreen, a little so saffron and crushed curry right there. Thank you so much, Karen. Karen for sending an extra one for me. I was so tickled that I get to keep this one because you guys, when I see these beautiful cards, honestly, I do just want to keep them all. <laughs> I do just want to keep them all. They're all so beautiful. Next up is a card from Susie Sherwin and Susie's also a first time swapper. Welcome Susie. I'm so glad that you participated and sent in a card. This one is so much fun. I kind of recognize the, um, the sunflower petals, but I can't remember um, what stamp set it's from. Welcoming window and in symmetry. Oh, it must be the in symmetry. Um, a welcoming window. I don't recognize. Oh, yeah, the in symmetry, I think. That is really clever. Oh my gosh, I love that. Sending sunshine for a beautiful day. What a great card. Are you guys seeing some sunflowers? We've got some sunflowers. We gotta go visit. Uh, north of town, there's a beautiful field that's blooming full of sunflowers. And last year we went and took some pictures. I wanna get the kids up there again to take some pictures. Are the sunflowers blooming by you too? Oh, I love this time of summer. And so perfect that the August paper pumpkin kit is a sunflower theme because the sunflowers, they're blooming everywhere. Oh my gosh, are you guys ready? Hang on to your hats. <laughs> This one is from Patricia Williams, and I was totally floored when I opened this card. 
Are you, <laughs> are you ready? Oh, look at this. What? It's like magic. When you open up the top, like it, it controls the sides. I, I, I don't know. This functionality doesn't look that hard, but holy macaroni, it is so amazing. I just love this. I'm going to have to figure this out. I've never made a card like this, but I just think it's so, so incredible. Oh my gosh. I just can't stop playing with it. <laughs> Patricia, thank you so much for sending in this fun card. Oh my gosh. Someone is really going to love getting this happy surprise in the mail. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, here's one from Maya Galantine. Have you guys seen this technique? This is so fun. You tear and tear and then roll it up and tie it. Um, and Maya said she saw it from um, Jackie Williams, who is a demonstrator in the South Pacific. I thought I saw Alyssa Tilsner um, share this technique. Alyssa is also in the South Pacific, so I'm not sure. I've seen it all over the place, and it has gotten a lot of attention because it is kind of kind of amazing. It's so much fun. So you have a piece of designer paper in the background, tear, tear, roll. It is that easy, but it is just so, so beautiful. So Maya, thank you for sharing it with us. I just think it's so lovely. And I know someone is going to love getting that in the mail. Next up, we've got a card from Virginia Pender. This is one of the um, kits from Stampin' Up! One of the kits collection. This is called, um, oh, what's it called? He, did he, did he, did he, oh, what is it called? <laughs> Just, Thomas did a class with it, and now I can't even think of the name. Um, it's not He's the Man. Um, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but this is a really great card kit. If you love card kits and you're looking for masculine cards, this one's really great. There's a couple different designs. I love the foil. I love the designs. It is just so much fun. Thomas and I had a good time making those cards back in the spring. And so if you're looking for, um, if you're looking for a fun card to send to guys, I think that's a good kit. I'm seeing your comment come through, Joe. How do you mail a card like that? This is definitely a non-machinable <laughs> um, card. It um, So let's review really quick about non-machinable postage. Um, and I'm going to grab some stamps so we can have a discussion. <laughs> okay. We've talked about this before, but it's it bears... It bears a little repeating. Um, so non-machinable stamps, usually there there's a couple different varieties, but they've got the butterflies on them. And postage just went up for um, stamps, of course, and non-machinable surcharge, I think, as well. So a regular postage stamp is now 60 cents, and this covers a first class um a first class letter that's flat. Okay. Now the non-machinable, you can buy these postage stamps online. You can buy them in your post office. It includes a uh, first class postage. So it's like one of these, but it also includes the extra surcharge. So one stamp will work on a non-machinable card. What is a non-machinable card? Good question. <laughs> a non-machinable card is one, obviously, that will not be able to go through the machine because it is uneven or bumpy or really, really stiff or, you know, like there's a lot of layers to it. Uh, if you're ever not sure, I always I always err on the side of using a non-machinable stamp just to make sure that it doesn't get torn up in the machine. Um, you want to make sure to use either write or use a stamp that says non-machinable. It's also best to hand deliver non-machinable cards to your postal clerk, if you can, in the post office. Usually they put it in a special bin to make sure that it doesn't go through the machine. If you send it or put it in your mailbox or you drop it in a mail slot, it is not guaranteed that it will get caught before it goes through the machines. And so sometimes we have some unfortunate incidents. Okay, I was starting to tell you about um, requirements for a, a first class card. Okay, so first class letter is a, um, a letter or an envelope that is no bigger than six by nine inches. It is no thicker than one quarter inch, and it weighs no more than three and a half ounces. All of that information can be found on the USPS website, the US Post Office website. Um, and so this one is, I would still say that that is under a quarter inch. And the way that I would send this is I would put 
a layer over this, like um, a postcard or a layer of foam or something like that to protect it. Um, and then I would use the non-machinable and I would use the non-machinable stamp. Sometimes cards are over one ounce. These stamps are for one ounce. These stamps are for one ounce. And so if you have a card that is non-machinable and a little extra heavy, then you'll need a non-machinable stamp plus an additional postage or an additional ounce rather, an additional ounce stamp, okay? So this is the additional ounce stamp. There are two variations. We've got one that is a bunny and then there's another one that is like red, white, and blue. And it's like, there's three little guys on it or something. Um, and so if you, I just weigh my cards with a, um, a scale in the kitchen. I just use this kitchen scale. And so when I'm sitting at the great big card swap, Char is always helping me. And so we get everything packaged up and then we weigh every single card before we send it out. If it's over an ounce, it gets an additional postage stamp. And then if it's non-machinable, it gets the non-machinable. And so sometimes we have non-machinable and an additional ounce. Um, Tony, I saw your question about how much is a non-machinable stamp. And I'm not exactly sure because it did just go up. So it used to be that postage was 58 cents and the non-machinable surcharge I believe was 30 cents with the additional ounce being 20 cents, but I think it went up. And so I want to say that it's 60 plus 30. I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to say it wrong. Um, it's somewhere in the 90 to a dollar though, 90 cents to a dollar for a non-machinable first class stamp. Okay, so this includes this. So you don't need both of them. Um, and two of these is like 16, 60. That's like a dollar 20. So that's really kind of overkill. Um, Diane says she thinks a non-machinable is 99 cents. I was kind of thinking it was like 98 or 99 cents. That's a really big jump for the non-machinable non surcharge because it used to be 30 cents. So if it's 99 cents, that means the non-machinable non surcharge is 39 cents. Um, anyway, two of these is 120. And if this is 99 cents, you save money if you can get to the post office or order online and have some non-machinable stamps on hand. Because using two regular stamps, you're paying more than you need to for the postage. Thank you for confirming. Diane says yes, 99 cents for the non-machinable. Um, okay, hopefully I've answered some questions. And this is definitely a non-machinable card. Um, sometimes the postal clerk will even tell you that a card that is thick and really on the borderline of being a quarter inch thick or more, they will tell you that it's a parcel and that you have to pay like a package rate, which jumps from the 99 cents to like three or four dollars. Yikes! So <laughs> there is a really fine line and you have to be careful when you're sending your handmade cards that you do, um, you know, you do be, be um, aware that of the, the thickness and the other things that are going on. Okay, that's my little non-machinable lesson. I hope you found it helpful. You're looking for the non-machinable stamps. You can ask for them at the clerk, um, at the post office. You can buy them online. I buy my stamps a lot online on the USPS um, store page and the shipping is free. So I buy the stamps and then um, they send them to me um, for free and I don't have to go and stand in line at the post office unless I'm handing them my non-machinable card. <laughs> okay, gorgeous card. Sometimes it's worth um, that little extra postage. Sometimes these cards are great for hand delivering cards, um, but I will, I'll, I will be sending that one as a non-machinable. And like I said, it is always best to, um, to deliver those non-machinable cards to a postal clerk at a post office when you can, just to make sure that they get handled properly. Let's move on. We've got some more cards to share. This next duo is from Cindy Benner, and she used this fun Rain Boots stamp set. Um, this was one that was a free stamp set that came um, in a paper pumpkin kit a couple years ago. So much fun. Um, and so she sent two versions. We've got one that's garden green and one that's calypso coral. So you tell me this or that. Which of these two would you keep? Because I get to keep one of them. Oh my gosh 
gosh, Cindy, thank you so much. You know, honestly, straight off the bat, I'm going to have to say Calypso Coral <laughs> because I love Calypso Coral and the Petal Pink combination there. This is one of my favorite colors, um, one of my favorite Stampin' Up! colors. So this is the one that I'm going to choose, the Calypso Coral, but oh my gosh, if you're a green fan, then this one is really pretty with the yellow too. So, so great. I know they're both so great. It's hard to choose, right? Leave a comment, this or that, green or Calypso Coral. Um, I was looking at uh, the comments again, and Diane um, also reminded me that square cards or... Um, Oh, well, she says a square of recycled bubble wrap works really well over, um, you know, cards that are, are bumpy or trying to even out some of that space. That doesn't necessarily make your card machinable. Um, it just depends on what you're trying to cover up. Like if you're just trying to cover up a rhinestone, sometimes you can get away um, with it. But some things that are really extra bumpy really just need to be the non-machinable. Okay. Mm, we have more great cards. This next one is from Jennifer Olson using a combination of some designer paper, a little die cut label with a happy birthday and a cute little balloon. I love that. Knight of Navy for the card base here. Jennifer, thank you so much for participating in the great big card swap. Next up is a card from Anne Hansen using Hey Birthday Chick. This stamp set is so much fun. I think I just retired in the spring. One of my favorite little um, critters, right? We ha I love all of our critter stamps that we have. Um, <laughs> they're always so cute. We got the hippos. We got the chicks. We've had, um, oh, little piggies, right? Little, um, the meerkats. I just can't keep track. All the cute little critters. So the, the birthday chicks was one of them. This one is just so cute. Uh, monochromatic card here with soft succulent evening evergreen from Anne Hansen. Thank you, Anne, for sending that one in. Um, oh, Pat, the fun fold card is also a gift card holder. Where did your card go? I'm sorry. I missed sharing that. Da, 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 da. Oh, here it is. Oh, gift, like you would just tuck it. Is there a pocket for it? <gasps> what? <gasps> oh, oh, I didn't even see that. An extra little card flap. This is just such an amazing card, Pat. Thank you so much again for sending that in. I can't, I can't see all the comments um, to see if you said, um, if you said where you if you said where you found the uh, measurements for that. Pam says from Canada, she'd really love to participate. Pam, we would love for you to participate. In the video description of this video, there is a PayPal link um, where you can pay $5 USD to cover three global international stamps. Um, because you're in Canada, whatever stamps you send me, I won't be able to use for your return card. So you can use the PayPal button and um, that covers three stamps. So you can send in cards three times and I'll have a stamp to send your card back. We've had, we've had some people from Canada participate. We've had someone from Australia and someone from France. So I would love for more international swappers to swap with us. So please consider um, checking out that PayPal button and sending in your cards. That would be just so much fun. Okay, look at this card. This one is from Michelle Wolf. Oh, I love the colors here. This is from the Rings of Love designer paper that you can get um, for free during celebration paired with a bottled happiness. And I'm digging these colors. Some sweet sorbet, pool party. I just love the shadow dye on that. I don't know if you can tell the detail. We had a little... Um, wink of Stella and then some splatter. This card makes me happy. Like <laughs> it is just so much fun. It's my jam. Happy birthday. Wishing you the best year yet. I think I got, yeah, I did get it all right. Oh, I love that card. Love that. Love that. Love that, Michelle. Thank you. <gasps> Look at this one from Katie Marshall. I'm digging this layout. We've got some bumblebee, evening evergreen, soft succulent, a little just jade back there. I like that white die cut. Uh, so th what was this designer paper? Oh my gosh. It was just in the catalog and retired from the January through June. Um, artfully composed. Oh, so good. This color combination is awesome too. Katie, thank you so much. So glad you're sending cards in again for the great big card swap. I always love seeing what you create. 
Here's one from Kay Johnson. Look at this blast from the past designer paper. I love the glitter on this. I kind of remember this designer paper from way back when. And check out the pocket for a gift card. How simple is that? You could put that in any kind of card design and just do a little fold up with a little half circle notch for your gift card. Oh my gosh, so much fun. <laughs> I love this square gem in the middle of the daisy too. Blast from the past and so girly and fun with the glitter and the jewels. Okay, thank you for sharing this awesome card. I know someone's going to really love getting it and sharing it with a girly girl who loves pink and glitter. Next up is a card from Cheryl McLean. A simple Z fold card here. We've got the Bella and Friends stamp set. A little all together designer paper back here and the playful pets, I think. Um, designer paper, very similar. Um, Yep. Oh, non non stampin' up designer paper. I love I love these simple Z fold cards. So it is essentially a card front, and you fold it back in half, and then you can add your element in the front. I think it's just kind of fun to have it open up a different way. Thank you so much, Cheryl, for sharing that awesome card. Our last great big card swap. This one is from Sharon Meyer. She said she finally got a chance to use the Eden's Garden designer paper. This is one that was available a year two ago, a year and a half ago. Um, maybe, no, it was just last year, last fall. Uh, we have the Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulent designer paper with the gold. We got gold ribbon, gold foil, jilted gems. Just beautiful. I loved this paper. It made me so happy. What a great card, Cheryl. Nope, that one was Sharon. Sorry, the other one was Cheryl. Whoo. I'm tired. <laughs> Before we close, I have a few more cards to share with you. I said uh, at the beginning of the video, my birthday was in July. It was July 16th. And so many of you sent in double cards for me to wish me a happy birthday. But I also got some extra cards that were different from the swaps. And I just kind of wanted to share those extra birthday cards that I received. So these are some bonus ones. These will not be sent out for the great big card swap. But I just wanted a chance to share um, them with you along with all the other birthday cards that we shared tonight. So this first one is from Kathy King and wow, wow, wow. This is a stencil that was available in the January through June mini catalog and it looks stunning. I am seriously so impressed with the way these colors layered together. Kathy, it is gorgeous. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes and for such a beautiful, beautiful card. We got the little bit of masking with a coloring on the background too. Just gorgeous. I got these uh, stencils and I never used them. <laughs> I think I made like one thing with them, but I was so intimidated and you make it look so easy. This is just so gorgeous. Kathy, thank you for sending that and wishing me a happy birthday. Look at this one. This is from Andrea Wellman and she's got a little full. I just love this little fun fold. So it's like a, a little envelope card, right? A little envelope flap. Um, and then our little Shelly down there. It's time to celebrate. So fun. Oh my gosh. Andrea, thank you so much for sending this fun card. Rings of Love designer paper. That's one that you can get for free during celebration. And uh, I have got to get my cards designed for our next class. It'll be featuring that designer paper. Here's one from Jill Steele, who I got a chance to meet this month. Jill, if you're watching, thanks for coming to visit me. It was so fun to hang out with you. This is the Daffodil Daydream designer paper. Both of those um, sides, I like that split paper um, down the diagonal, a little di or a little hand cut flower to go on the inside. Oh, happy day. Thank you for the birthday wishes. This is one for Michelle Cook, a little sidestep card. And this is one I wasn't sure, Michelle, if it was supposed to be for the swap or if it was supposed to be for me. So if it's supposed to be for the swap, send me a note, Michelle, and I will stick it in the swap box. Um, but it from what I could gather, it seemed like it was for me. And so um, I did put it in the me pile. But like I said, if it's supposed to be for the swap, I'm not going to be hurt if you tell me to swap it out. I love this with the Hey Birthday Chicks and Hey Chick there. So gorgeous. Little um, Just Jade coloring here. I love the stitched labels. Let's celebrate you. So this sidestep card is so fun. It is one piece of cardstock that has got lots of fancy cutting and scoring. Watch for the link in the video description. I'll share that. So if you want to make this fun fold card at home, you can find all the measurements there. 
Next up is a card from Joe Williams. Joe, you sent me a lot of cards this month. I am just the luckiest girl. I love this, a wash in beauty designer paper. Really simple layout here with, again, those brass butterflies. Oh, I'm telling you, if you don't have them, you definitely need to add them to your next order. Joe, thank you for the birthday wishes and for this amazing card. Next up is a card from Julia Mazur, and she said she was working on this one for June. She was inspired by the kind of eclectic card that I shared on June 12th, 2015, which ironically was Claire's 10th birthday. Uh, she said she was working on this card, didn't get it sent in, so she sent it for my birthday instead. I love this with the Abigail Rose, Cottage Rose, beautiful coloring. Julia, thank you so much for sharing this beautiful card and for your birthday wishes too. It made me feel so special um, to get it, and um, I love I love your take on this card layout too. Next up is a card from Maya Galantine, who said this one with the party puffins. I'm obsessed with the layering here. These label dies are in the annual catalog and coordinate actually with a Christmas um, stamp set. But it is so fun to layer with the cardstock and designer paper, the ribbon back there, and then the elements on top just make this card so fun and so amazing. Thank you so much, Maya, for your birthday wishes and for this personalized card. It made my day, truly. Here's a card from my sister-in-law, Angie Hillman, using some abstract beauty designer paper, a little die-cut posies, and the biggest wish for the happy birthday. Angie, I don't know if you're watching my videos, but girl, thank you for the gift, and thank you for the card. Oh my goodness, she <sighs> knits, crochets, I think she crochets, um, and she made me this beautiful shawl. It was just stunning. I should have, I should have brought it in here to show you so detailed and so beautiful. So Angie, thank you for the card. Thank you for the gifts. You guys are the best. Oh my goodness. You guys, thank you to everybody who sent in cards for the great big card swap. I am so inspired by all the birthday cards that you shared. Over 50 cards tonight that I shared with you to inspire you. I'll be sending all these cards out. And I have to tell you, if you sent in a card for part one of the Great Big Card Swap, I'm so sorry that I haven't sent the cards yet. It's been a very busy month um, and we just didn't get a chance to get them out. So all of the cards, part one and part two, will be going out in the mail very soon. Thank you for being patient and I'm sorry for the delay. Um, if you want to send in cards for August, you can send cards in right now. The theme is anything goes. So send me any handmade card. I can't wait to see what you guys send in. You can send those cards to Julie Davison, P.O. Box 6164, Champaign, Illinois 61826. Make sure to mark the card swap month, July, or not July, August or September. August, anything goes. September is fall or autumn. Um, so you can send in for both months right now. Make sure you include a postage stamp um, for the return and um, don't write inside the card. Um, just leave a loose note or a post-it if you want to share a note with a new swapping friend. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the project ideas that we shared and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future card making videos. I'll be live again tomorrow on Wednesday at 1 p.m. Central Time for my 12 Days of Christmas in July series, series. So be sure to come back and watch that. Have a great night and I will see you again very soon. Bye.